don't worry about the lying, the cheating, the scamming, the dream penetration, the going to witches, the evil decrees. Don't worry about it because it's going to be their portion. It's going to be just like Daniel. Like, Daniel was so blameless. He had integrity. He was honest. And because of these traits, the king made him ruler over the entire kingdom. Like, the king knew that Daniel wasn't going to cheat him. But you had weirdos. You had liars. People that's supervisors. People that's in positions of power. And they was like, you know what? We got to find something on Daniel. We got to accuse him of something. But couldn't accuse him of nothing. So they had to accuse him of a good thing. They knew that Daniel prayed three times a day. So they went to the king. I was like, you know what? Um, if anybody pray to any other God and don't praise you, then they should be thrown in the lion's den. Okay, so despite the agreement being made about not being able to praise nobody but the king, Daniel is still minding his business. He's still minding his godly business. Daniel is going to his room. He's praising God like he's been doing. Daniel is sticking to the plan. He's not asking nobody, can I be down? He's not saying what the lick is. He's not saying, um, tell me your deepest, darkest secret. He's not saying none of that. Daniel is minding his business. Like, they, they coming to see about Daniel. Ariana, why are you here? Like, why are you here? So, they're going to tell the king. They're like, you know what? Daniel's still praising that God. He got to be dealt with. So, the king, like, okay, I can't go back on my word. I got to stand on my word. So, the king is like, you know what? Daniel's going to be put in the lion's den. But before Daniel was put there, the king is like, you know what? Daniel, I hope that the God you pray to can save you. So, Daniel is placed in the lion's den. And the next day come, Daniel is still alive. He's still untouched. Daniel is still looking good. So the king is like, you know what, Daniel, how are you still alive? Like, what what happened, bro? So Daniel is like, you know what, well, the Lord sent me an angel to close the lion's mouth because the Lord knows that I'm innocent. You can fool your friend, you can fool your grandma, but you cannot fool God. That's why God protected Daniel. First of all, let me let me keep going. So from there, it was a clean exchange. Them same accusers, them same liars, they had to go in the lion's den. But not by themselves. Their family had to come. Come on. Yeah, y'all coming too. Yeah, get in the lines then. Had to come too. Because y'all knew that boy ain't do nothing. Y'all knew that. So the king made the entire kingdom worship Daniel's God. The most high God. The only God that's worthy to be praised. Because the king knew how powerful God was. He knew this. He witnessed it. You can play with a lot of things. But you can't play with God or his children. He gonna war for them. And it, and it may take a little minute. You might think you're getting away with it. But God gonna come with it. Your evil gonna befall you. That ditch you, the ditch you digging, you gonna fall in it. So if you've been wrong, if you've been accused, lied on, understand that the exchange is coming. And they gonna pay for it. They gonna pay for it. And it's gonna be inescapable.